So guys, while well, we're out with the cadets, I've decided to bring my hammocks as well, so I'll give you a bit of an update on uh, the hammock. <clears throat> I got two with me, a Hennessy and a DD travel hammock. I'm going to try the, the DD travel hammock today, and I've got this pretty cool area here. Uh, I'll just give you a quick view of the area. I think I'm going to choose this tree across of this one. Again, looking for widow makers. I think we should be good. Bit of frozen stuff on the trees if it comes down. Doesn't look too bad. And uh, it doesn't sound like it's going to thaw very rapidly, so we should be good. Okay, so what I've got now is my DD hammock set up with my uh, hammock gear under quilt, just for now. I made these rods myself, just because this kit didn't come with the one. Uh, put a ridge line in so I can get a good angle on the uh, hammock itself, as you can see, and then the hammock gear incubator 20. And uh, got a pretty good angle on there. And now you're going to put the uh, top up and uh, probably put it in a porch mode so I can just relax. Um, what I'm going to go with because the temperature is below minus 7 here, it's on the border of the um, incubator 20 there. I'm going to throw in uh, a sleeping bag and I'm going to take two Canadian Forces down sleeping bags. I'm going to put one underneath of me, slide my sleeping bag inside of that, but I'm not going to zip the CF bag up. And then I'm going to put another CF bag over the top of me. And again, the foot box of the two sleeping bags below it are going to go inside of the one that's over me. So we're going to have an over quilt and an under quilt in sleeping bags. And then also my sleeping bag and the incubator 20 underneath of me. So I should stay warm. Uh, the temperature is supposed to drop down. Uh, the forecast at the beginning of the week is supposed to be minus 19. I think it warmed up to about minus 8, 9. And I haven't checked the weather today. So um, we'll see. Uh, how it goes. So I didn't put it in porch mode. I uh, Just rigged it up. I bought the big top the four and a half by three meter top. It's a big top. So I managed to Put a ridge line up throw it up there. I've uh, closed the doors on one end I've got plenty of room. I'm gonna leave the other one open just so I can see what's going on outside uh, I'll show you what's going on So right there I closed the door It's not super tight, but uh, I've got some snow stakes I put them down uh, horizontally and uh, pounded them into the, into the snow, compressed it with feet, my feet, and then uh, so surface area is a lot bigger and then from there we can, um, you know, it shouldn't pull out. And then on the far side it's open. Have a look around. Left this once open, as you can see, the hammock from one end. So plenty of room, get my gear in there in a bit, get my sleeping bag system in there, and then uh, maybe open this one side up to porch mode, and then we can relax for a bit. So just to show you the snow stakes that I'm using, um, these are the short ones, I have uh, four long ones as well. I put a ring on the end, this is elasticated, I put them in the snow like so and when I pull it the surface area will be a lot better elasticated will uh, keep the tension throughout the night um, if I'm camping on soft ground I can put them in vertically still do the same thing have them pull up against that way uh, but right now because it's snow I've got them in this way and uh, yeah so as you can see they've all got rubber on. Some of them don't have the rings on yet, i just got to find some more keychains and uh, that'll fix that. And uh, yeah, that's my stake setup. Morning everybody. It's uh, about 7.15 in the morning. How did I sleep? Uh, awesome. Awesome. Uh, I mean it was a bit... Uh, thick when you come when you compare it to uh, sleeping in a an under quilt with just an over quilt on this is sort of a double over quilt sleeping bag and an under quilt 
I can't tell you the temperature, I'll check that when I get to my thermometer, it's just above me, I can't reach it right now. Uh, it's pretty cold though, like on my face was exposed, was uh, really cold. People talk about condensation, which I've never really suffered with condensation before in, uh, in my hammocks. Um, but I've got frost, as you can see. This is on the mosquito screen from my breathing. And the edge of my... Uh, the edge of my sleeping bag is a little bit damp from my, my breath. I also used a bivy bag again, um, got inside of my bivy bag, that helped with drafting. I was super warm, like I'm just wearing my thermals, and I got my softy boots on, and a pair of fleece socks, and, um, you know, I woke up a few times during the night, but nothing to talk about, it's just mainly to cinch my uh, sleeping bag around my head a bit more. Um, but yeah, I, was, I slept like a log. I think it went down around about 10, 15, and it's, like I said, 7.05, 7.15 now. Uh, amazing sleep. An amazing sleep. It's going to be a struggle getting up today, though. <coughs> it feels colder than minus 5 from yesterday, uh, but it'll be interesting to see what the thermometer is. Forecast last night was supposed to be minus 12, uh, so uh, I'll confirm that in a little bit. So yes, it was uh, minus 12, uh, I'll pull my thermometer off, anyway, it was minus 12, uh, really cold this morning for me anyway, um, frost on the inside of my top, even on my snake skin, I got frost up on here, so this is my rig, uh, DD travel hammock, uh, suspended above my orange ridge line. Uh, and I have two bars that I spread the mosquito screen with. Then I have a ridge line for my top, as you can see. And I just uh, framed my uh, top in a normal uh, sort of A-frame and then closed the doors at the one end. I didn't need to do the other end. I wasn't wind it wasn't windy, it was clear and it was no wind at all. It was still. It was great. Um, super warm inside, like I said earlier. And the hammock did well. The underquilt. I was taking it apart just and I could feel the warmth in it which really impressed me considering we're down below its rated uh, value uh, but again I had a bit of condensation uh, between my sleeping bag and my not my sleeping bag sorry my my open sleeping bag that I put on underneath of me uh, to my bivy bag there felt a bit of a damp spot there but I didn't feel damp inside I was super warm um, could I have gone to just one sleeping bag instead of the, th sorry, two open sleeping bags and my sleeping bag, maybe. But uh, I've never really hammocked in this minus 12 condition before and I was uh, a bit hesitant, so better to be overkill rather than getting up in the middle of the night and having to add layers. I'd rather stay warm, so worked really well. Uh, inside of the bivy bag by my face had ice in it from my breathing. Um, but overall, it was a really good camp and it was an excellent night out, and it was an experience uh, at this temperature that I've never done before. And uh, looking forward to my next one. Some of the igloos that uh, people before have left behind. 